The Chinese sent me a whole box of various gadgets, and now I am going to show them to you. I'm a big fan of canned olives and cucumbers, but it's often not so easy to get them out of the jar, plus the spoon gets filled with liquid, which must be drained. But the Chinese came up with an ingenious jar with two compartments. The upper compartment is for vegetables, and the lower one is for the liquid. In this case, olives don't float in the liquid, and the wide necks makes it very convenient to pick up the olives. Then when we need to put them back in the refrigerator, we just turn the jar. The liquid goes into the opposite compartment, and in this form, the vegetables can be stored in the fridge. The Chinese came up with a very interesting and compact alternative to the welding mask. These are such brutal welding glasses, which have built-in solar panels for self-darkening glass, which becomes dark when it gets a flash from the welding. Let's put them to the test. As you can see, the glasses work just fine. The glass darkens instantly when there's an electric arc and brightens very quickly when the arc goes out. The ear arcs can be placed with the supplied rubber band, although I like them better in the form of glasses. And with this device, you'll be ready for a sudden welding job. We ordered a cool solar robot toy which came in this box but it was disassembled in the form of these parts connected to each other. Though we are very happy to assemble it and see what results we will get. Using wire cutters, we separate each part from the frame. It took some time because there are lots of parts. From the black bag, we take the engine and the solar panel. Look how small it is, even smaller than a pencil. We remove the protective plastic from the solar cell and according to the instructions, glue it to the holder with double-sided adhesive tape. With a bunch of different gears, we put them together with the motor on the left side of the toy in the right order. Then check if everything rotates and close the lid. Then we place two yellow elements on the sides, after which we put these strange wheels. And that's it, we've got a big snail on wheels, which should move when you shine a light on it. We tried shining a smartphone flashlight on it, but it didn't move at all. When we held it up to the spotlight, the wheels started to move a little bit. But under the sun, it was just unstoppable. It raced forward despite the obstacles, and it lasted until the snail hit the shadows and stopped. After all, it's the solar energy that powers the engine. I think it's a great gift for any child, because what is done with your own hands is always valued more. I am sure that none of you will guess what this is. Inside a plastic case, there is a ball created from some strange herb, which should increase the mood and playfulness of your cat. Let's try to offer this balloon to Cookie. Come on, Cookie, get a good sniff of the nose first. Oh, it seems to work. Cookie became more relaxed, and he can't stop rubbing himself against the magic ball. Thanks to the sticky side, the ball can be stuck on the wall, for example, and your cat will always come up to it and smell the magic potion when feeling sad. But sometimes you need to close it in order to prevent an overdose. Remember those times when everyone used to have a spinner like this? When seeing this video with a flying spinner, I realized that the Chinese seems to have taken them to another level. Of course, I ordered one to check if it really can fly and come back to my hand. Inside the carcass which protect your fingers, there is a motor and blades. We activated with a switch and started by scrolling it quickly. And it seems to really fly! At first, I wasn't very good at catching it, and it kept dropping. But after 5 minutes, I got the hang of it, and was able to get it to fly away from me and then back to where I was catching it. One of the main problems was overcoming fear, because it seemed to me that these fans can hurt your hand. But the grid protects your fingers as well, so in fact it cannot. It's charged by USB, and a single charge allows it to fly for a very long time. I was already tired from playing, while it still was able to fly. Many people like to eat dumplings with potatoes or meat, but not everyone likes to cook them because it's a time-consuming occupation due to all the stuffing process and sticking the edges of the dough with your fingers. But it seems like the Chinese have eased people's life by designing such a miracle device. 
It's supposed to make a dumpling for you. Just place the dough on the platform, put the filling in the middle and press the button. In one motion we get two dumplings ready to be cooked. Some would say that a good hostess can mold faster than this machine, perhaps, but I think not so many of us could do it so well. For those who never even tried to, this gadget is very useful. By the way, our dumplings turned out to be very tasty. Many people had very sensitive gums, and especially for them, the Chinese created an ultra-soft toothbrush. Just look at the bristles, its hairs are smaller than any other brush I've ever seen in a supermarket, and it feels soft to the touch. Here's a comparison with a regular brush under magnification. And here we have two separate hairs compared. They are quite cheap, so you can buy them for the whole family. In this little box, the Chinese sent me a very small flashlight with a USB port. Despite the low price, it is made of aluminium and looks quite high quality. It has no battery of its own, but it has a connector that can be plugged into any power bank, which allows it to shine for a week or even more. Thanks to the movable lens, it can focus its light into a narrow beam and shines dozens of meters forward, in the case that you need to see an object in the distance. I tested it at night and I was surprised by the power for its price. Moreover, using a small adapter you can connect it to a smartphone as well, turning it into a quite powerful flashlight. I'm sure now every one of you will want to buy this cool thing. To see how it works, we need a regular potato. We pull it through the gadget on one side, then turn it 90 degrees and do the same thing. At first, it causes some difficulties, but the secret is you should grate potatoes quickly. Then the blade cuts them very well, and just look at what we get in the end. Really cool potato slices. I don't really understand the magic that makes the holes, but it looks very cool. As you have probably guessed, we are going to fry it all. We pour a lot of vegetable oil into the frying pan and place there our potato slices. They immediately start to boil and get a golden crust. We take them out of the oil on a napkin to absorb the excess fat and sprinkle them generously with salt. And finally, we taste it. And it's so good! McDonald's french fries smoke nervously on the sidelines. It's very cheap and very tasty. But remember, you'd rather not eat a lot of fried food, because otherwise you may get a stomach ache.